Hello everyone, Sprout here and welcome back to Feed the Beast Revelations and today we are actually going to be venturing into the nether as you can probably tell from my inventory. We're going to be building a nether portal somewhere in the magical forest over yonder and we're going to be looking for some cobalt ore and there's another ore I'm looking for but I can never remember the name of it. Have I got it on here? Ardite ore. Ardite is what I'm looking for. We're going to use this to make ourselves an infinity harvester, which we're going to enchant with haste and a few more modifiers using Tinker's Construct. I haven't really got a very nice day for this, but uh, I guess I guess that's what we get for. I don't know. <laughs> so the first thing we're going to actually need is probably some more food. I've got three steaks, but I don't think it's going to be enough. So we're going to have a little look for some mobs to kill and cook before we go. Hopefully you all enjoyed the last episode of us setting up the uh, Tinker's Construct Smeltery. If you haven't seen it already, make sure you do go back and watch that one as uh, you won't particularly know what's going on this episode with the Smeltery, if not. Unless you've played with Tinkers and you already know, then you can tell me to shut up and I will continue to play. So we killed a pheasant which gives us a bit of chicken, but it's not gonna it's not gonna suffice until we actually cook it. So we got to give us pheasant, not chicken. Of course a pheasant didn't give us chicken. So we got some, we got some squids, but they don't drop any food. Was that we found a horse? Then we have a saddle as well. I think we had a saddle, so if I could just if I can tame this horse. Which I don't remember how to do. <laughs> We've actually got a very good mode of transport. Can't let me on you. Wow, bucko. As far as I remember, it's just keeping it centered, but I don't remember how to do it. Let's give it another go. Oh, nearly. I'm going to give it a couple more tries, just before we go to the nether. Hey! There we go, we got ourselves a horse. Now obviously we can't move the horse without a saddle. So for now, you just have to leave him here. I know where he is, he's over by the mushrooms. Which doesn't really help me, because there's a load of mushrooms in this forest, but... Uh, we should be able to find him again. I can't remember whether I had a saddle or not, so I'm going to go jump back to the house and then back to the horse if I've got one or not. Hey, would you look at that? We've got a saddle and we've got iron horse armor. So let's go back to... Oh, I don't know what, should we, what we'll call him. Oh, that's a good question. I'll let you lot decide what we call the horse. And make sure you suggest some names down in the comment section below. And then uh, I'll pick the one I like the most. Or one that's actually suggested. <laughs> well, look at him. He's a darn if I've ever seen one. A bit more steak. And we're going to head back to the house. We've actually got 11 raw pheasants here just from uh, killing them on the way back. So, uh, since we've got our mode of transport now, we shall go and cook the food. We're going to cook this raw chicken. A uh, raw pheasant, sorry, my bad. If it only gives one and a half, that's not going to be very good. But let's see. It gives three and a half. And how much does this give? This gives four. Okay, so it's not actually too bad. It's just a little bit worse than steak, but it's, uh, it's going to be better than nothing. Because there's not a lot of cows or... Yeah, cows. There's sheep over there, actually. Sheep drop mutton now, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, yeah, these are, these are whizzing through now. So it is a blooming horrible day. It is a horrible day today. But, yeah, we're going to leave the horse here. Uh, we'll name him, hopefully, next episode. But once this is cooked, we're going to head into the nether. So I'm thinking we might just put it directly above the mine shaft here. It's in quite an open space. Uh, it isn't too far away from the house. and It'd be quite easy to find because it's already been defined by a waypoint. So let us build a portal. If I can remember how to do this, it's been a while. That looks right. <laughs> I think that's right. We'll find out. Yeah, yeah that was right. And there we go, we got the and we got a never portal now. Which will be fine and dandy. So let's let's jump right in and see if we can look for any of this co uh, cobalt or ardite. We need to go deeper. 
Now this looks very different from the last time I visited the Nether, and there's Cobalt already. Brilliant. That's fantastic. Um, yeah, why is there... Why is there trees everywhere? I see trees, vines, or ivy. More Cobalt there. One thing we don't want to do is, is fall in. That'll be a big no. So it looks like someone's been here before from the server, as they built a little bridge across. But, what's this here? Draconium. Flesh, you. And quartz. Now, if I remember correctly, if I mine ore in the nether, I automatically aggro pigmen, which I think is a thing. And they also have a chance of exploding, if I'm correct. So, we want to be... We want to be careful when we mine this cobalt. I can't remember where. I'll put that. Uh, I can't remember where the portal is. I'm right on top of it. So jump down here and let's get this cobalt. Because the less time we spend here, the better. Can we mine this? No. How do you mine cobalt ore? So according to the wiki, we're going to need a level 4 mining pick, and apparently a diamond is only a level 3, which surprises me. And we're going to need something like steel or a lumite. Okay, so what I just said here is completely wrong. Steel or a lumite. A lumite, for example, isn't even in the mod anymore, and steel does not mine cobalt. So I just spent the next hour or so trying to build some steel to mine the cobalt, and... I fail, so basically I'm gonna try to skip through it as much as I can, make a little little montage for you. So I'm a little bit of deja vu here. So let's hope let's hope we can get this. It's not looking like we can, it's just pickaxe level cobalt. But I'm gonna try anyway. Oh god! Okay, so I've just been reading the Reddit post, and it says to make an obsidian pick, and apply, sorry, build a flint pick, and apply an obsidian modifier to it, uh, a sharpening kit, obsidian sharpening kit to it. Okay, so we're back in our little forge, and we are going to create ourselves a sharpening kit uh, stencil. Uh, yeah, that's all we need, that's all I need to say about that one. Then we are going to go into the part builder, I believe. Sharpening kit in there. And we'll just make a... Can we make a city on straight away? Ah, see. The obsidian sharpening kit. Oh, we can. Uh, makes mining level cobalt. Uh, which is very good. And it just costs two per go, so we're going to make two of them. And hopefully, uh, with this gravel, we can get a load of flint. And we can then get ourselves a flint pickaxe. So we now have five pieces of flint. And we just need to go into the part builder with the pickaxe pattern. The head pattern. Uh, where's the part builder? That one there. And we just need to put a single piece of flint. Two pieces. Three pieces. All the flint. Uh, so it's two pieces of flint, and it makes a flint pickaxe head, and we're just going to do this for the rest of the patterns, uh, and then we're going to sharpen it with the obsidian. So hopefully this shouldn't take too, too, too long. I just need the binding. And boom, we've got the binding. Let's put all these back in the pattern chest, and we're going to make ourselves a flint pickaxe. Oh, like so, we got ourselves a flint pickaxe. Which actually mine's quite quick by the look of it. It's got the crude three and I like, don't even know what crude does. Okay, so we come back to the tool station and we put the flint pickaxe, sorry, not the tool station. Yeah, the tool station. Come back to the tool station, uh, put it in the center here, just on the general tab that you open with. You want to put the obsidian uh, sharpening kit at the top and a single piece of flint down in the bottom where it's got the sort of lapis lazuli looking bit and you get a fortified obsidian pickaxe which should then increase the mining level to cobalt so we're going to call this the cobalt picker and there we go hopefully we should be able to mine some cobalt now so back to the nether and we are back so 
We could finally do it. We finally be able to mine cobalt. It worked. It actually worked. We've got six pieces, which I think might be enough for what we actually need. We're building the Infinity Harvester, right? Uh, yeah. I th should only take two, I think, for the axe head. Uh, cobalt. Uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, this one here. Takes two ingots, that's all it takes. Oh dear god. So, we are now on the hunt for Ardite, which hopefully the cobalt picker should work as well. Uh, I will test every pickaxe on it that I have, just so I don't waste the durability. Uh, we should be good for cobalt in general now though. We're just going to pick up a load of uh, nether racks so we can actually build bridges. And actually build... Oh! Is that some there? Is that Ardite? Oh, I think it is. I think that's Ardite. Oh, it is. I think we only need two for this as well. So everything should be coming up Millhouse here. Boom. And that was three pieces. That should be good. And the other thing we need is slime. Which, there are plenty of slime islands around our base near the Magical Forest. So hopefully, if we swim up some of them... We might find some slimes. Okay, so right near our home, we have a slime island. As you can see, there is a load of slimes that have already jumped off. So we could be in luck here. Because I think we need this sand and something else to craft uh, the, the blocks we need uh, for the slimy pickaxe. So hopefully, we should have enough. So if it is, this will be the easiest, uh, the easiest material which I thought would be the hardest to obtain of this pickaxe, which has been, frankly, a, a pain in the neck. <laughs> so let's head back, back home, which is just over yonder. Uh, yeah. What a, uh, what a journey, eh? It was crazy. I thought this would take about 10 minutes or so because I was like, I was ready. I was like, bang, straight through the portal, get the cobalt. And we should be good to go with the Invar as well because it was just around the corner. But damn, man, it's taken us so long. <laughs> it's too long, to be honest. So hopefully, we get all this down into a nice little video for everyone. Ooh. Knowles, you're running through the forest. Okay. Okay, so now we're home. Uh, I I don't want to risk macerating this. If it starts macerating, then fantastic. But if not, I can't even put it in there. Okay. We're just going to smelt it instead. Is it when they're smelting they have a chance to explode? Because if it is... Better hold on to your... Something. So with the slime, we want to be creating something called slimy... We're going to need some sand and we're going to need dirt. Uh, not too much of it. That should be enough. And hopefully if we do this recipe... Here, we should be just that, and we'll do it again, with dirt and sand. Yeah, there we go, we get blue slimy mud, oh, we get two of them, and then we just smelt them in a furnace to get crystals. And there we have it, we finally got two. Uh, let's go take these downstairs, and we shall try and build ourselves a blue slimy tool rod. Okay, so we take it to the part builder, we put the tool rod pattern in, and we put the crystal in there, and we get the slime tool rod. We just want the one of them, and it just costs the one crystal. 
So we didn't need to get two, but it was better to be safe than sorry. So we're going to take the cobalt now that we smelted earlier and the ardite, and we're going to throw them into our smeltery. We're going to need the cast for a binding cast and a pickaxe head cast. Uh, the first one you want is the Ardite in the Binding Cast, but it doesn't necessarily matter which order you do them in. Uh, just make sure the Binding Cast is Ardite, and the Pickaxe Head is Cobalt. And we should we should have a good Pickaxe going, and hopefully we don't run out a lot of it, because that would be a nightmare right now. And there we go, the Ardite's done. It's giving us a nice little red colour, similar to the Iron one. So, what have we got here? Molten Mali... Oh, you plum. Okay, so what's actually happened here is my Ardite has combined with the Cobalt to make Maniela. Man Ma <laughs> I can't say that. Man Ma I can't. I I'm not even going to try. So I'm just going to create the head first with uh, Cobalt and... Yeah, with cobalt. And then I have to go back to the nether and get some more ardite. Okay, back in the nether. And the ardite, uh, hopefully, shouldn't be too hard to find. Like last time, it was literally there. So, uh, let's keep having a look. It's quite quite an obvious block to find. There we go. We found some ardite. So, let's mine that with our cobalt picker. And there we go. How many did we get? We've got three. Lovely. So, we're going to go home, smelt this, and hopefully not turn it into... Manny Alin. Manny Alin, that sounds right. So once I find the portal, I shall go home. And we're home. So let's see if I can actually just chuck the Ardite ore straight in. What I'm hoping is it's actually not the Magol that it combines with to make the uh the Manny Alin. Otherwise that'll be a big, big problem. But I doubt it because it's mainly used for casting, so I think it doesn't have any interactions with anything. So let's wait for this Ardite to smell. You can just throw it straight in. I think it doubles the ingots, uh, or doubles the amount of resources you get from it just from, rather than just smelting it. So let's do this. And hopefully we should get six ingots from this. And we need the binding cast there, which we have. Boom. And we'll just eat a bit of steak while we wait. It shouldn't be too long now. Okay, there we go. We've got molten ardite. So we're going to put that on the bottom. Pour this out finally. I think that only took two, right? Only took one, okay. So we got the binding, we got all the other pieces, and finally the quest for the Infinity Harvester is finally over. Right? Is this not called the, Inf is this not the Infinity Harvester? It looks like it, Infinity. I can't spell. This, oh is it because it's not green? Is it not green slimy? Is there a difference? <laughs> I think I built it wrong. Okay, I'm actually, I'm just going to leave that for today. So, today was a mad one, uh, let's just say. Uh, yeah. Went in to go get some cobalt, came out building too many machines that we didn't need in the end. The, uh, the induction smelter and the pulverizer, and yeah, it was a uh, a little bit tilting to say the least. Uh, so I'm actually going to go check all this in the smeltery downstairs with the iron, because I can actually uh, turn that into gold, into gold, into iron blocks. So I'm going to go do that off camera, and uh, I'd just like to thank you all for watching, and I shall see you all. Next time, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe as well. Always helps. And I'll uh, I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.